Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 19th of 2024 is titled Jupiter Diving. So what do we see here? Well, here we're going to watch a video that will run a little over a minute. And we're going to be looking at an animation showing what it would be like to travel into the atmosphere of Jupiter. So let's go ahead and play the video and discuss it a little bit. And as we start, we see the clouds of Jupiter. And as we head down, you can see the altitude on the left side there. And as we're heading down through about 2000 kilometers above the surface, we can see that the clouds are not a flat level. They're like clouds on Earth, and they're at various different levels above the surface of Jupiter. Then we plunge through and we watch the, the altitude go down and the temperature shoot up as we travel through. And then things turn very red as we move into the great red spot and then come back out looking at the great red spot very close up as the altitude starts to rise again to a thousand kilometers and more. Now we can see the great red spot here, a giant storm that has been present on the surface of Jupiter for hundreds of years. And then towards the end, we start to move away from the spot and back to the clouds of Jupiter as the altitude continues to rise. So let's go ahead and look at this and what we're going to see and we'll go ahead and play the video again here. Let's watch it a, a second time and we can try to look in a little more detail now that we've seen it once. And again, we can watch the clouds there that we see and we see different colorings of the clouds due to different compositions, different materials within Jupiter's atmosphere. And as we continue to get closer, we see the structure to the top of those clouds. Jupiter does not have a solid surface and is just clouds. And that's why we can plunge through it as we hit zero kilometers. We're just entering the beginnings of the clouds. And we can see as we travel through the clouds, we now see the great red spot there going hundreds of kilometers down below the surface that we see of Jupiter. The, so that's the surface is the cloud tops. So this great red spot has been there as observed as early as the late 1600s and has been seen and has been studied continuously for 150 to 200 years now. So it is really the one of the largest storms ever known in the solar system. And we don't know how long it's been there because it could have been there long before. We just would not have had ways to be able to detect it. We also don't know how long a storm like this lasts. We know that the great red spot had had some times of shrinking and getting smaller and smaller. And it was thought maybe it was going to disappear altogether. And that's still a possibility, but we don't know because we don't know whether it will shrink and stabilize or begin to grow again as storms sometimes do on on Earth. You know that a hurricane, for example, can uh, start out strong and then it can go over land. It will lose a lot of its energy and uh, be much less energetic and then it can get back up over warm water and energize itself again so it's wondering whether the great red spot can do something very similar so here we got to see an animation looking at the surface of Jupiter using data from the Juno spacecraft to simulate what it would be like to travel down below the surface and then come up through the great red spot so that was our picture of the day for May 19th of 2024. It was titled Jupiter Diving. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Aurora Amazing. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.